Oh, it's still a human. Okay. Well, it is still A-OK -okay with me. Alrighty. So now we're even starting to draw some cards, don't we? Yes, we do. A shattered freaking sanctum. Now we can't even get rid of the whole freaking... Oh, my lord. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. The lighting is still a little bit weird. I know, I look different than I usually do, but it's all good. We, we all good here. So, yeah, thank you all so very freaking much. Yesterday's video was a huge success. I want to do uh, zombies today, but nope, not possible, not good, not at all. They lose to Mono White all the time, and do you know what people play all the time? Mono White. But you know what is really good against Mono White? Kaya's freaking machine gun fire. So enough with the yammering. Let's get into the machine gun fire. Hammering. So this is a very, very insanely fun deck. So we have these two planeswalkers here. Kaya, Geist Hunter, and Sorin the Mirthless. Sorin can create you a little vampire, a 2-3 with lifelink and flying, which is super freaking good. And Kaya says that until end of turn, if one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many tokens are created instead. So only these two together will give you two vampires with lifelink, which isn't maybe too good, but against Mono White, let's be honest, that is pretty good. So we have the uh, these two cards, but also creatures you control gain death touch and you may put a 1-1 counter on up to one target creature token that you control. So it's only tokens. And then for minus six, you might exile all cards from all graveyards, create that many white, uh, one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying for each card that you exile. So if you exile your opponent's graveyard and they have seven cards and you have like five, now that is freaking 12 little spirits on the board. And then bam, he took Massacre and you kill him. But that is not everything we do. Also, the Saurian gives you card advantage, so you look at the top card of your library, you may reveal that card and put it into your hand, and if you do, you lose life equal to its mana value. If you don't, it just stays on the freaking uh, library. But it is very good, maybe you want to do this, you're digging for a Meatok Massacre or for a Doom Scar, and yeah, you absolutely should. And then for minus 7, you can deal 13 damage and gain 13 life to any freaking target. So, the Kaya herself is super fun in this deck because we have a lot of freaking token creation. So let us start little by little. We have the Adeline. So then whenever a creature attacks, you get a human. So that means that if you have the minus two available here, you get two humans. Then we have the uh, vetting announcement. At the beginning of your end step, you put an invitation counter on it. And uh, if you attack with two more creatures, you draw a card. Otherwise, you make yourself a 1-1 one, one human creature token. And if you have this activated, it will be 2. So if you already attacked in with the Adeline, made yourself some tokens, and now you get this, well, it doesn't work like this, because you will, you know, have attacked with two cards, uh, creatures, but you draw yourself a card. But you know what I mean. If you have attacked in with the Adeline, you won't get it. But if you play this alone, and you have this activated, you will freaking get yourself to humans. If also your Sorin is out, now you will have four creatures. Super freaking good. If your Cemetery Protector is out, you can even get more humans. I don't know why the human is red here, but hey, we will take it. She's attacking us with a pitchfork. So, this is Flash, which is super good. Super freaking good. Which I've totally forgot during all of my games. Just totally forgot that it has Flash. So... Then, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may exile a card from a graveyard. And then you may play a land or a spell that was the same uh, card type. And you create yourself a 1-1 one, one freaking human. Super good with the Kaya. So, but the best part about the vetting announcement is that as soon as it has three counters on it, you transform it and all of your creatures will get plus one, plus one. Just amazing. Look at how happy they are. Being on the wedding. They're super happy. They're just so happy. So these are a lot of tokens that we will get and they will all be big and strong. Then we have the Sunset Ravelry. You make yourself tokens, you get yourself some life, you draw yourself some cards, and the best case, super good card to have. Then uh, we have the Deadly Dispute because with all of our tokens we're able to draw ourselves cards with this. We have the Shambling Guest, 
just to get into our stuff as fast as freaking possible together with the deadly dispute, just super good. We have of course the rest to get rid of stuff that we don't like. And then as I already said, we have the Medoc Massacre and the Doomscore as board wipes. And we have two heroes downfalls as our removal spell of choice because it's a murder that targets freaking planeswalkers. What else do you want? Nothing, I tell you. Then, of course, some high of the eye tyrants, just to get in it for some bit of damage. Then we have eight beautiful planes, seven beautiful swamps, with four shattered sanctum, the new ones out of the set, and three field of ruin, because you always freaking need those. So, I almost forgot the welcoming vampire. Such an amazingly good card in here. You draw a card every single time that somebody creates a token. Be it the Wedding Announcement, be it the, the Adeline, be it the Sunset Reverie. You only play a Shambling Guest, no problemo, you draw yourself a card. You play a Welcoming Vampire into a Welcoming Vampire, now you draw yourself a card. And then the Wedding Announcement triggers, you draw yourself another card for the second one. This is such an amazingly good card. And then once the board is full with stuff, either you have your Wedding Announcement on two, well, on an, as a Wedding Festivity, all the creatures get plus one plus one, which is super good. Or you will just Meat Hook Massacre and just win the game. Meat Hook Massacre is just the best card ever printed. Change my mind. Freaking try to. So, this is Kaya's Machine Gun. A super fun deck. It is super good against the meta that we have right now. I hope you will enjoy just as much as I did. I'm Max Malone and I will see you in those Machine Gun Fire games. So I really wanted to make zombies work today. I even recorded a whole freaking video about it, but I lost like six or seven games in a row. It just, no matter what I did, it just wouldn't work. All right, we're going first, so I can't keep this hand. I really can. Wedding announcement. Look at how happy they are. <laughs> My lord. Oh, we're up against Mono Green. Annoying, but it's still okay. Still okay. With the batting announcement and the uh, Meadok Massacre, we will have a chance. A small one, but we will. They're not doing anything, I like that. Are we bringing down the batting announcement, of course? Because that is a creature that we can uh, sacrifice to the deadly dispute. And that is very geared. Very geared. So they do have a snakeskin veil, that much we know already, by them not attacking in with the Jaspara Sentinel. That much we freaking know. So the question is only who can flood the board faster? Alright, they're getting it, well now they're getting in there. No blocks. No way. So if we draw another land here, that would be cool. We did, we really did. So that means that next turn, we can use the Cemetery Protector. I'm not gonna let you slow me down. Good. Of an angry mob before. They're looking at Makaya. I don't like that, Awoki. Stop looking at Makaya. So we're not blocking here, uh, not attacking here, of course. No way. The Cemetery Protector is really nice here. Really freaking nice. The Sculpture of Winter. What else are you doing, though? A Blizzard Brawl, okay. And what else? Oh, another Blizzard Brawl. Okay. Okay. But that also means that if you now attack with both, which you do, to draw yourself a card, okay. That is fine with me. Actually freaking fine with me. Because now I can do this. Try to get in there for a little bit. I mean, it's two damage. It's more than, uh, you know. The other one. Three damage. Like, one damage that I would get here. Alright, this was a very nice board wipe. I liked it a lot. I freaking loved it, to be honest. So, now our creatures are bigger and stronger, which is extraordinarily good. Oh yeah, have your Orin Reef ooze. Have at it. Have freaking at it. Boom. 
bringing down the protector. Because we can. And there's no need for us to, uh, so. There's no land in here, which is a little bit annoying. But we're still getting rid of the werewolf pack leader. Who knows? Who freaking knows? We're putting down a counter here. And no matter what they're doing, we kind of get... Are we attacking in? Oh, we are. I don't think that they have another two Blizzard Brawls, to be honest. And we need to get in there for some damage. And we can still block this Auron Reef Ooze. It will become a 4-4. Unless, of course, they have more stuff to do. Then we maybe better just block with the Shambly Boy. Find ourselves some creatures. Make ourselves some tokens. Maybe we can even activate the Kaya here. That would be amazing. So, Aoki! Are you Steve Aoki? And just going on to the Kaya. Alrighty. Doing this now. Making ourselves a treasure so that we can... Uh, sacrifice the treasure. No! Z! Z! Oh my lord, I almost pushed the wrong button here again. <laughs> I'm alone. Oh, every single time. All right. So I have not seen a single new card. They really have another one. They really do have another one. Three Blizzard Brawls in the first 14 cards. Why not? Why not, my friends? Why the heck not? Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. We drew another deadly dispute. Hey, why not? Why the heck not? You know? Just why not? And now nothing but land? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Need a weapon? <laughs> Unbelievable. Like, what is this? Like, our opponent gets all of these beautiful blizzard brawls. And what do we get? Freaking land. Freaking land. Before I do my make my decision here, I want to draw two more lands. Just why not? Why not two more lands? Okay. No blocks. In this case, no blocks. We should have had a better plan. Adeline, you're up. And you're up. I mean, the more damage we get in for here, the freaking better. I mean, all of our creatures are bigger now. So we're getting in there for a lot of freaking damage. Unbelievable. Three freaking Blizzard Brawls. Three of them. And we get what? A 50% land rate. Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here. Unbelievable. Can they win this now is my only freaking question. If they have a Voring Clex, maybe... Not even if they have a Vorian Clex. I just block. I just freaking block. Get out of here, Aoki. Freaking three Blizzard Brawls. That is how you get into the top 500, you know? With three freaking Blizzard Brawls in the first 16 cards. That is how you do it. That is exactly how. Oh my. This deck is so a freaking tasty. I love. They do have another one. Don't you dare telling me. If they have a Vorian Clex, maybe. They do have a Voring Clex. What? Okay. That is still not enough. Wow. Freaking wowzers. Good game. Wow. Wow. Uh, all I can say is wow. And then the next thing I want to say is get out of here, Mono Green. I am the queen of vampires. Yes! This was so improbable. Also, the new lights aren't doing it for me. I'm really not satisfied. Not at all. I see myself on the screen here, and I just think, nah. Kinda nah. Alright, this is a good start. We do have the Shambly Boy right away. We're up against Mirai with a little asterisk. It's mono black as well. Oh, it's zombies! 
I wonder how zombies will do for them. And we will see what they're doing here. I mean, we do have the deadly dispute. That is pretty good. The tainted adversary. So let me see. We can just wipe the board here and that would be very good. Round three. Yeah, we just wiped the freaking board here and then we're good. And then we can still play all of our stuff. And have a freaking Metook Massacre ready to rock and roll. Get out of here! The damage you did, I would just suck you dry. That came out wrong. The Headless Rider! Yeah, do that. Freaking do that. Cemetery Protector or Headless Rider? I feel like it is the vetting announcement. Because what are they going to do against my wedding announcement? What exactly? Oh, they have another champion of the perished. And another tainted adversary. That is not bad at all. That is very good, to be honest. This is very good as well. This is very good as well. You know what? You know what? Let's just, you know, fill the board real good with creatures. I mean, it's called the Kaya's machine gun, even though it is, is a, a a crossbow. Wow. I almost blanked here. I almost did. Oh, no. Not my little creature. Everything but that. Yeah, you can have to hit. You can have it. You can. So. Are there lands in here? Are there lands in here? There are none. But there's a sorcery in there. So that already is pretty good, isn't it? So let me see. Play the cemetery protector here. I get rid of their blood cheese thirst. At least I will try. Okay, they do have something. They still do have something. Maybe an infernal grasp. But we're still making ourselves two blockers here. Yeah, they just have an infernal grasp. Okay. So, we're still making ourselves the blockers here. And those will become big and strong. So it's all good in the neighborhood. Alrighty. So... I hope they play one more creature here. That would be good. They do! Wow! And what a creature they play. Incredible. I hope I find an answer here. I could not find an answer here. Alright. That is kind of annoying. Kind of super annoying. We're creating the blood token here. And this is still dangerous for them. It's not like it is not super dangerous for them. And all they can do is attack him with the blood vile perver. Pervire. Because I will do this now, you know? Never been part of an angry mob before. So. Two get made. They can block two of them. We're still getting in there for eight. Well, even a little bit more. And draining them for two. Good. And now we're making ourselves two more blockers here. And all of our creatures get big and... Oh, we don't. Okay. We don't. We don't. Okay, it's alright. It is alright. We're still looking pretty A-OK. -okay. But this one was uh, unexpected to say the least. Freaking unexpected to say the least. So they're getting in for seven here. It's all right. This costs one, right? Yeah, it does. It does. But if they're attacking in here, they're still super dead. 
They're still just super freaking dead. And they scoop! They knew they were super freaking dead. Oh, you want to attack me with vampires, I see. Oh, no, you don't, because I am the queen. All right, we're up against somebody that is just on the verge of 99%. I want to get back into the numbers. Oh, I wish I could keep this. Are we up against Mono White? I cannot keep this hand. Uh, this is way better. Cemetery Protector, sadly you're out. So, if they do have something here, if we're up against Mono White, well, that will be sad. But if we aren't, well, it is kind of white, but only kinda. Uh, we can use the Deadly Dispute here the moment that this monk gets bigger. But let's do that. Or maybe we're getting rid of the Clever Luminancer. Well, now they have two of those. So let's just get rid of the monk here, shall we? Yes, we shall. The answer is yes, we shall. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! Never ever was a Mitok Massacre more delicious than right freaking now. Oh, oh, and we even have the hero's downfall. So no matter what they bring to the table here, I'm good. I'm super good. All right. Time for a wedding announcement, shall we? Oh, oh. So, so good. I never expected it to be so fun. A wedding. A freaking wedding. So, they have uh, how many cards in there? Three. I think we're going with the plus ones here. Every single turn. Every single turn. So, what you gonna do here, man? 777. Seven, seven. What you gonna do? A rope us. I think they're mad. I think they're mad. It's sad. It's sad. I mean, the game just started and we're getting roped already. Oh, they're not sad. Okay, they're here. They're here. The Twin Blade Geist. <laughs> delicious. Freaking delicious. Uh. Let him have it. Let him freaking have it. We have two Kayas. Putting a 1-1 one, one counter on here. Making ourselves another blocker. So, I feel like we're just blocking here. I feel like we're just freaking blocking here. I want my Kaya, you know? I wonder. So bad. There is the Leonine Light Scribe. Okay. I feel like we're still blocking. Well, that was unexpected. I feel like we're not blocking. <laughs> I feel like we don't. I mean, it doesn't really help us at all here to block. So let's not. Let's freaking not. Okay. Welcoming vampire, eh? I mean, that will draw us cards. And we do have enough to, you know, just be cool for a little bit here. Alrighty, here's a card. And now we can block this stupid Leonine Light Scribe if we need to. Oh my lord, unless of course they just bring in another one. If they do that, well, it's going to be a little bit tough. But only a little bit. This doesn't have trample, you know? It doesn't. We're blocking here. Are we blocking with two? Yeah. If you're asking me why, I value the card draw more than this. So it's absolutely okay. So they're losing two life here. Perfection. Oh my. Um, yeah. I'm still okay. Still a-okay. Oh my. We're not okay anymore because we're not drawing lands. But hey. We can still block here, so it's all good. It's all freaking good. What do you have here? I will try like this. 
I mean, if they don't have anything, this will freaking die. Can you please target tanks? Thank you so much. So do it, you find a spell. They did not. Okay. Well, then your twin blade geist just dies. Was that really worth it? Was it now? I don't think it was. But oh, I can bring it back. Oh. Okay, they can just bring it back. So, how much do I care about that is the question, though. Not at all, to be honest. Not at freaking all, because I will draw myself a card here. The Cemetery Protector. Oh, I was just thinking that they had freaking bridge. <laughs> oh, but they were just blocking the Adeline token, okay. There is the showdown number two, but will it be enough? Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, we will start to have to destroy stuff here. We really have to. Really have to. Are you shooting down my... Incredible. Incredible. But are you attacking in here with everything? Then you will be very dead next turn. Okay. They just do. So that is 13 damage. Oh, wait. This is 14 plus 6. Oh wait, this has double strike. So that is still only 20. Only freaking 20. We can take that. Because you know what we're doing now? You know what we're doing now? We're freaking defeating them. That is what we're doing. We're gaining some life back. We are freaking attacking in for exactly freaking 8. Mmm! Delicious! Incredible! I did it once more! Get them all freaking out of here! 98%, 2% to go! Oh, this deck is so good! Mmm! Oh, the early freaking Meatok Massacre was so good! What are we up against? Well, no matter what we're up against, we're kind of okay here. It's another mono white deck. It is just another freaking mono white deck. But look at this, won't you? Won't you just look at it? Okay, well, they have a pretty good start here, not gonna lie. <laughs> not, not gonna lie. But I mean, we do as well, you know? I mean, we're going back to 23. We have this now. What else do you want? Not much, that much I can tell you. Cannot even get rid of it with the freaking Skyclave Apparition. So, what do I even care? Yeah, you can have the hit. Shish. Shish. Ridiculous. Oh, they're not attacking in. Cute. Freaking cute. So, we're uh, looking at their hand, just in case, you know. Alright. Still all good. So, we will need some land, though. Do you know... Get rid of their freaking Redain. You sure about that, my friend? Are you really sure about that? They are. You're super sure about that. So. We block here like this. Deadly dispute the fact. Alright, another Sorin. That is good. That means that we can play it here now, get ourselves another vampire on the field. Well, not another, but a vampire on the field. It will Skyclave Apparition, that sucker. And with that sucker, I mean the vampire. Yes, I do. And uh, then we can just meet Ogmasker afterwards. Oh, the Brutal Cathar. Okay, unexpected, to be honest. Thought they would just, you know... This is still all so good. This is still all so good. This is a bajillion life still. Just a bajillion freaking life. And they're attacking my Sorin. Where is the other one going though? To my face. Oh. You will freaking hate what I'm doing next, my friend. You will just freaking hate it. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can do it all. We can just do it all. And we will. Mmm! Get out of here! Get freaking 
out of here. Yes, yes. Okay. Delicious. Freaking delicious. An empty Skyclave. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, it gets the Meatwork Massacre, but oh. Oh, 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 oh. Must be freaking sad. So, if we're doing this now. Yes. Okay. So, I will. Because of... Oh, no. Okay. Well. I can't pay the one here now. And then I can use the hero's downfall in the worst case. We have a little bit of time, you know? Just a little bit. I forgot about the Valkyrie shield. So if I do this now, it won't be good enough. And I feel like the hero's downfall could target something amazing. And we can't target anything anyways here. Because of... You said it right. The shield. Alrighty. So if we draw land here, we're super good. Because then we can make ourselves two tokens. Two vampires. They're all out of stuff. I feel like doing this here now is just useless. Just freaking useless. We will see what they're doing. So it's spreading the threat. Makes sense. Makes total freaking sense. We're still getting rid of the Skyclave apparition here. So all we need is to find one land and we're super happy then. We're not blocking because of, you know, the shield. It will not be enough. The Legion Angel of all things unholy. There you are, my friend. The land I was looking for. The land I was freaking looking for. So we can buy ourselves even more time now. Which is super good. And we will see what they're attacking. I mean, depending on that, we will just not do anything. And we still have some board wipes and stuff like that, so, you know, we might find stuff. We might. Would be cool. Would be pretty cool. I mean, we can block everything here if we have to. But I feel like they will just attack one of my planeswalkers here. So, we have no token generator for now. All we had was these cards. No more card draw. Also, I just realized that, these, that this person is 270. Crazy. Freaking crazy. Do you have another Brutal Cathar? You do, don't you? You do, don't you? Oh, don't you? They can only destroy one Planeswalker efficiently. They're looking for the Sauron. Okay. Kaya is fine. We do have another one. So hey. Nothing to worry about. Well, we still do have another one. So hey. It's still okay. <laughs> it just got more expensive. Just got a little bit more expensive. Reveal. Yes, please. Freaking yes, please. Let's draw a card, let's gain some life, let's make ourselves even more blockers. Let's bring down the Adeline. Oh, all is so good right now. So they can attack in with the Elite Spellbinder. They can attack in with the... Uh, but they can try to attack in with whatever they want. But if they're just attacking my Sauron, well... I will pump my life linker. And that is what I will do. And if they attack my elite spellbinder, they have to kind of, you know, push it real good. We are still okay 
not perfect because they can still, you know, attack in here. But we're okay. I mean, we're on 22 life. This could spiral out of control real quick for us if we draw nothing but lands from now on. But let's be honest, a little luck could be on our side. And if they're attacking in with everything, well, we do have enough blockers then. To at least get rid of most of their board. Which is extraordinarily good. So Robantis is thinking long and hard. Can't blame them. It is a tough situation here. You don't really know exactly what you're gonna do. But you can try, you know? You can freaking try. So, my friend, what you doing? Okay, you're just playing your angel. Makes sense. Make us a freaking a sense. But they cannot be attacking him with everything. They cannot. But they're doing it the smart way. Gods to say, this is indeed the smart way. Attacking my Sauron only through the air. There's no need for me to do anything. I mean, it would die. My creatures would also, so hey. So hey. Why should I even do this, you know? To bring down another angel. That is alright. I can give all of my creatures freaking... Oh, it's another land. That is brutal. That is brutal. I have so many new weapons I want to try out. Putting it onto you. I can teach you a thing or two. I feel like this is the right thing to do. If they block, that is all right. This will not do any damage. But this will die, which is good. This will not. This will also not die. But we're also getting some life back, so hey. We got rid of one of their angels, so hey. End the turn. Pretend like we do have something. I really hope we can find a board wipe here. If we can find a board wipe, the game is pretty much over. But the chance to find a board wipe aren't the biggest right now. Gots to say. It's not looking too good. Because the chances that we will just have another land on top, pretty high, not gonna lie. Oh, so they're getting in for a lot of freaking damage. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked it with the Adeline. That wasn't too smart of me. Just not at all. Alright, they're just getting in with everything. A lot of freaking damage. Maybe we can't find a board wipe here. Who knows? Well, the deadly dispute is pretty nice. And let's use it right away. Just right freaking away. Raider treasure. The Cemetery Protector. Very nice. We're getting rid of a land here. We already played a land. Okay, we did. That is, of course, the smartest thing to do here. Just putting it onto the Elite Spellbinder. We still have to block. We still have to freaking block. So if we don't find something good here, we're super dead. If we do find something good, we are super lucky. Well, we couldn't. We couldn't find anything super good. Good game. These Legion Angels got us real freaking good. Got us real freaking good. So, yeah. Three for one right now. It's alright. Is it three? Yeah, it was three for one. Mono White got us. They didn't even have one single new card. They're just playing the same old deck, still in the top 270, with the same old freaking. You know, getting beaten by Mono White like this, absolutely okay. There is no shame in that. It's only sad that we didn't find another board wipe, you know? That was a little bit sad. We're up against Ring Slayer. I mean, we're still 3 for 1. That is still absolutely a okay. If we keep this now, we can be sure that this is a freaking control deck. What is this? What the heck is this? I cannot keep this hand. 
There's no variety at all. None so ever. Oh, I should have kept it. Well, it's still all right. We still got another one, so it's all good. It is all good. Holy smokes. What the heck, man? What the freaking heck? <laughs> so. Sacrifice a target creature you control gets... Okay. Okay. Now you don't sacrifice anything. And I get myself a freaking... Yeah, okay. Was that worth it? Was that really freaking worth it? I don't know. I really don't. So we do have the deadly dispute now to get rid of this intrepid adversary. If we really have to, we will see other green as well. Oh, I have a feeling that I know what we're up against. Okay. Are they attacking in? They're not. Let's make ourselves two more treasures here, shall we? Create a treasure. And create a treasure. And no black sources. Okay. Well, we still only need to do this for two, right? So we're good. But I wanted to train here. I wanted to lose everything. Everything! And then we're bringing down our own wedding announcement next turn. Seems okay. Seems pretty much okay. The Elite Spellbinder. Yeah, you can have my Sorin the Mirthless. I will draw my stuff sooner or later. Hopefully sooner than later. So, what would have happened here? Whenever you cast a cute... But they would have gotten rid of my Meadook Massacre. So it's good that we did it. It's really good. So, if I... Okay, they had a land here. Annoying. And we don't. We don't have a land. I still feel like having a look here might be good. Alright. Well, it is what it is. It wasn't worth it at all. And they just... Just like that. You know? Just like that. They find a freaking human creature spell. Just normal. Just freaking normal. Well, we do have blockers for days here now. And the moment that they do too much, we will have the Sunset Revelry. But I'm really missing another black source here. That would be amazing. Just freaking amazing. So, uh... We create it, yeah, and then we transform it. No blocks. Weird, but okay. Please keep your card in hand. They did. Oh my. Well, I really hope that we can find a land sooner or later. That would be super good, you know? Just a small little land. All I want, all I freaking want is one freaking black source and I'm happy. I'm freaking happy. All right, if you want to do that, you do that. It's all right with me. We still have like a, a lot of creatures on the field. Oh, it's still a human, okay. Well, it is still A-OK -okay with me. All righty. So now we're even starting to draw some cards, don't we? Yes, we do. A shattered freaking sanctum. Now we can even get rid of the whole freaking, oh my lord. Does this even matter? It costs two more, right? So that means that we can do it now for what? For two! And they're just freaking guns all. Oh, Meetok Massacre! You are the best card I have ever seen in my entire freaking life. Get them all freaking out of Get out of here. Get freaking out of here. Mmm. For the one, baby. For the one. Mmm. All right. We do have time for one last game. 
It is pretty good. Look at the wine. Is it even wine? I think it's not. So, who will be the next person on our list? Oh, a Mirthless against the Vampire Queen. We go in first. I really don't like this hand. Because we only have these little hands. Alright, this hand is way better. So, I feel like we can't get rid of the duress here. It's okay. We do have the Shamley boy. We will draw ourselves a card with the Sunset Revelry. It's all good in the neighborhood. Alrighty. Eh? Are we up against the freaking control deck? I think we are. I think that we are. They will play a blue now. And then we're gonzo. Oh, they're shooting our face. Alright. Go ahead. So I still feel like they will just play a blue here now. I don't know why. It's just a feeling. Oh, they don't. Okay. We're getting some life here and drawing a card. Okay. We still do have the heroes downfall. I was just thinking about what is better here. But they're just a burn deck. Okay. We got two of these now. Annoying as hell. But we got this now. So it's all good. It's all freaking good. But what you gonna do here, my friend? What you gonna do? I got myself some life back. And I will get myself even more life back. So it's all fine. If they pump this, it's kind of annoying. But with the Shamley boy, we can do some stuff. Totti Barola. Are you still here? You are. Okay, so we're down to one more life than we were before. Okay. They have another freaking play with fire. Just normal. That they should have them all. Why not? Why not? Oh, we will still see what they're doing here. Even if they pump this for one, I'm still okay. I'm still Maloney from the block, you know? So, what you doing here, my friend? Play a little faster, please. It's the last game. I need to get this freaking online. All these little rose petals are melting. Are you... They're falling through the creatures. They're falling through the creatures. So I feel like they might have the, um, you know, put a counter on a creature, give it lifelink, indestructible, the whole shebang. But I feel like we're still okay, you know? They're looking at their creatures, they're thinking long and hard about what they want to do here. Maybe they want just to shock my face. Okay, they just want to shock my face. Shock it. Shock it real good. Wow. They really have, like, all the burn spells. All of them. Like, freaking all of them. Okay. Well, we're going down to seven here. But then we're still okay. Kinda. Kinda still okay. They have done everything they could. Are they attacking in with the classic Flame Breather here? How many more burn spells do you have, my friend? That is like my only question. Like, how many more? Fast attacks. Are they attacking in? They might. We're down to seven here. We will be going to nine, which is more than enough to survive for a little bit. Especially now that we're drawing ourselves some cards and hopefully get some life linkers. That would be amazing. We do! We do! It's almost as if I knew. Okay. Doing this for three. Getting rid of your creatures. Getting myself some life linkers down afterwards. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They still have more. They still have freaking more. Oh, 
How am I doing this? Like this. Getting myself creatures. Getting myself life. It's very important. Come on. Do something. I know you want to. I know you want to do something here. Alright. We're getting down to Mirthless. We're making ourselves a life linker, which they will not like at all. Not one single bit. Then we're getting down the Cemetery Protector, getting rid of one of their instances. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. They have all the burn in the world. All of it. But is it enough, though? Oh, look. More burn. Who would have thought? So their hand consisted of, like, 80% burn. They had it all. They freaking had it all. But this life linker is very, very good. Just very good. We're getting some life back by destroying this. So we're all good. We're all freaking good. And depending on what I draw here, maybe the cemetery protector can get something else. Destroy target artifact. Yeah, it won't be enough. And I don't feel like you are attacking in here. Also, this is an enchantment. So, yeah. Who even cares? So, we need to get rid of an instant here. Which we will. What can this do? So, instant. Uh, remove a flame counter. You may play that card this turn. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Good. So, we're making ourselves a little human. Exile it. Do it. It's going to be something that you want. I'm pretty sure. You have to destroy target artifact. What are you going to destroy? My treasure? Go ahead. Destroy my treasure. Do it. Totti Barolla. Oh, man. How can somebody that plays Burn be such a slow player? Seven minutes of burn deck. Wow. Just wow. As I said, it's an enchantment. And they scoop! And they scoop! Oh, get out of here. Get freaking out of here. Five to one is pretty good. What am I supposed to say? But hey, this was super freaking fun. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun, I've got to say, this is a super good deck against the meta that we have right now. There's nothing else that you can say here, but super fun freaking deck. All of these tokens are good enough to block, well, I mean, in the end, against that mono white deck that we lost against, there was nothing we could have done. They just had all the power in the world, while we were just sitting there. We could have prolonged the game maybe for one or two more turns, but would we have drawn a Doomscar? Who knows? I cannot say for certain that we would have won, but before I get into the wrap-up like an old-school chewing gum, I want to thank all of my patrons and members so very much. Starting as per usual with us at the great hardest, Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, Atomatom, Vince MH, Vicky White, John Bell, Felipe Rodriguez Diaz, Jeremiah Friends, Mike, Grey Wolf, Unmercy88, Steve-O, Jonathan Norton, Empty Bag, Morphe, Luis Felipe Sanchez Perez, Jared Teleskevich, Albert Tukin, Neil Heeland One, Jose Ceron, Marcario Frescas, Caleb Horst, Troy Graham, Court New, Band Agents Demander, Oran, Jefferson Perito, Sign in Blood, Doc Vorpal, Chad Riberick, and Billy Basham. A special thanks to our gold span dragons, Mwaf Randy K. Donald T, Jen Newman, Simster 6 to 5, William Wadded, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, your boy Big Bizzle, Mr. Miles, Damien Tay, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack Top, Jeff Smyre, Phil, Double OG, Raven, Chipster, Nerd, Paul English Wolf, Anima, Cthulhu in Letters, Silas Fox, Nick Pop, and Tim Nowitzki. And a special thanks to our Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Grand Up, Danny Montgomery, William Smith, Ario Wolf, The Lacrime, Brian O'Reilly, Malchija, and Quixen deal. You guys and gals are pretty freaking sweet indeed. I really appreciate that you go in the XMI supporting the channel with your hard earned cash. And if you want to do the same and you aren't on this list already, there is a button below every single video for the membership. I think YouTube even annoys you the heck to push that button. <laughs> Maybe they do, I don't know. And uh, you can also check out the Patreon below every single video. There's a description where you can find the Patreon link. Also, yeah, as I said, I'm not looking too fresh with the green in my hair. So, uh, yeah, 
But if you don't have any hard-earned cash to share, don't you worry about it, sweet summer child. There's always other ways to support the channel, like subscribing. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. So, this deck was pretty fun. Also, you need to go over here. Over here. So, this was a super fun deck, I've got to say. Uh, I want to uh, want some more play zombies today. Flying zombies, death through the air. I was in the top 1100. When I finished, I was at 96%. It just was not feasible not at all no chance in hell there was just nothing i could have done so i looked on my list and i said hey i want to do an ors of control style token deck and here it is it is super freaking cool it is super freaking fun and i hope that you enjoyed i think that this is a very nice list the welcoming vampire is just so good that i think i could even put four in here cut maybe one uh or the duresses completely because almost nobody is playing control anymore. Everybody wants to play those creature decks because they're just super good, you know. Just smacking in there, getting your opponent down to zero in like three or four turns. What else do you want? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. So, the Doomscar, maybe one more is needed. Maybe you could cut the Cemetery Protector in all. It wasn't too useful, but I really wanted to try it. But hey, you know me, there will be another version of Kaya's Machine Gun Fire as soon as I want to build it. Maybe another Hero's Downfall would be good. So yeah, maybe I would cut the Cemetery Protectors, put in another Hero's Downfall, another Doomscar, and maybe cut the Duresses. I don't know, they're pretty good. I mean, me, 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 me. they're just super freaking good. So if you're still here, thank you so very freaking much. And if you haven't subscribed already, do so, what you waiting for? It's just a little push of a button. You just need to use your little finger and then just BAM! You're subscribed. And if you're still here, put in a little uh, Geist comment down below. I just looked, the first word that I saw was Geist. And it means ghost in German, so double points here. So thank you all so very freaking much. This was Kaya's Machine Gun. I'm Max Malone, and we'll see you all tomorrow.